We have a really good team that's been working on this for now a year and a half and it's really exciting to see this now come to uh, fruition. Um, uh, Shruti is a program, it's a self-sustaining program for the management and treatment of ear infections um, and um, uh, especially focused or uh, targeted at the underserved segment of the population. Um, now ear infections is, is, is a common, you know, uh, disease and usually if treated early it goes away and there's no no um, risks or issues. It's caused by fluid buildup in the eustachian tube and and uh, especially for children um, and um, and if you you can treat it with antibiotics but in, in in India because of the lack of awareness and some of the barriers that Melin talked about it doesn't get treated in time and so then the inflammation continues it gets infected and then over time, it, the, the eardrum ruptures and it leads to um, hearing loss. Um, and that not only affects quality of life, it, it, um, it leads to cognitive uh, development um, impact and, and, um, and then loss of productivity and so forth. Um, Incidents of India, and there's a WHO study um, in addition to the study that uh, Melin quoted that shows it's 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 about five percent of chronic uh, separative otitis media, which is where uh, it's it goes to a point where the eardrum ruptures and then infection starts to spread. Um, so that's about you know over 50 million people that are impacted, um, and of those. A, a large percentage of those have some form of hearing loss, you know, and this, the, this study showed about 70 percent. Um, and so, there's a significant disease burden. Now, Milan talked about the barriers, which is lack of awareness, um, lack of access to care, and uh, affordability. Um, and and so, this program is uh, focused at addressing those barriers. Um, and expanding access. Uh, traditionally, you know, multinationals have been focused on on, on people who can afford, you know, at, at the high uh, higher, uh, you know, uh, income of, of society. This is uh, our program is uh, designed to expand access to people at the underserved that cannot afford care. Um, so how it works is, you know, and Milan talked a little bit about this is. It's at the center of this is a community health worker, and that's where HMRI comes in, and, and that's why we're really excited about this partnership with HMRI because they're the premier uh, community health care organization in India, and then they have a lot of experience working with the underserved. So, so we're really excited to partner with them about the, on this program. So there's this community health worker, and then we have this uh, mobile phone-based uh, autoscope with a telemedicine app and a patient management app. So when they see the patient, they enter the patient, uh, you know, information, they enter symptoms, they take a picture of the ear, uh, of the eardrum, and then they upload it to a, a, a web portal, to the internet. And then an ENT at the other end in a hospital can download it and, and make diagnosis. So they, they do that and they refer patients that need treatment um, to our other partner in the ecosystem, which is the ENT surgeon, and uh, and then you know we can follow through and and ensure those pay patients get care. Another thing that is important in in ensuring the success is the partnerships that we've developed. You know we have HMRI, who's the community health partner. We have partners in India to, uh, to that have worked with us to develop some of the technology that Milan talked about, which is the the cell phone based app. The um, the the device itself, um, and then some of the tools that that uh, that are used for wax removal and so forth. Um, our our goal is to make this affordable um, uh, to to that segment of society, so that care can be provided at a really low cost. Um, and so we're you know this pilot we'll uh, we'll validate some of our assumptions. We'll and and then we want to expand it um, nationally. We've started some work in Delhi. Uh, in July, we've seen some good results, and now this is where we're really start starting to, you know, take it uh, broader. So, 
and finally we want to develop this local innovation infrastructure for for continued improvements adding other other products and solutions to this developing certain low cost locally developed surgical products and then and then working with local manufacturers to 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 uh, provide this and eventually this is something that we'll take to other emerging markets as well so india would be the hub for for that innovation so